Hi everyone, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to make this cushion. For it you'll need black and another colour of four ply crochet cotton, one metre of material for the cushion, lining for the front of the cushion. I used calico, you'll only need a small amount of that. Seed beads, a cushion insert, I've used a 45 centimetre or 18 inch insert. Scissors, thread, a fine needle that will fit through your seed bead as well. Now make your cushion cover 5 centimetres which is close to 2 inches bigger than the insert. I draw in the size of my cushion on the material and then I draw lines diagonally from the corners. Then I draw in the other lines the same distance apart. Now I've brought up all the lines for my cushion in watercolour pencil and now I'm going to crochet the chain strips for it. I'll be starting from the corners. I'll do the two longer ones first. That one and that one. And then I do the shorter ones. And I'll stitch these two on first and then I'll stitch the ones each side and I'll work out. I'll take this away because the light's reflecting on it. And I'll start with my chain. I work my chain lengths about half an inch longer than than the lines. I don't leave too much extra. Half an inch is about one and a half centimetres. I'll be stitching my chain lengths on with the machine but you could hand stitch it on if you'd prefer. Now I'll show you how to measure for this small one here because that's the only one that will fit. This isn't quite long enough, I'll have to do a few more chain. This is a fairly easy pattern, it just takes quite a bit of time. I've got about three or four stitches that end. I probably need one more stitch that end and that will be long enough. Yes, that's that's good. So I'll fasten that one off. And I'll crochet all my, the rest of my chain strips. And I'll stitch on a couple and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I've stitched on my two longer strips, making sure the right side of the chain is facing up. I'll now stitch on the other strips, working my way out from the centre so that my cushion stays nice and flat with no puckering. I'll finish stitching on the rest of the chain strips and then zigzag round the outside to hold the endings down. And then I'll be back to show you how to crochet the flowers. Well that's all my diamonds finished. Next I'll be doing my flowers. For, to find out how many flowers I need, I count the joins and I'll need 41 flowers. I have 41 joins except the row just before the edge. That would be too close to put a flower. Now I'm going to use a bright pink for my flowers and I'm going to use black beads. For the flower we start with four chain.
and we slip stitch into the first chain. Then we'll work one chain and into our circle we work a single crochet and each petal is going to be five chain. And then a single crochet. So we need five petals. A five chain and a single crochet for each petal. So we'll work four petals for the single crochet. For our last petal we work five chain and then slip stitch into the first single crochet. For our second row we're going to work five single crochet into each petal and a slip stitch into the single crochet at the bottom. So five single crochet and then a slip stitch into the single crochet from the previous round. So we'll work that around. And at the end of the row we slip stitch into the first single crochet. And that's our flower complete. I'll pass them off. Now I'll need 41 flowers. Now to attach our flowers we need, I'll use black cotton because I'm using a black bead. I've got quite a large seed bead and a fine needle that I'm hoping will fit through all the beads. I've tried it out and it fits through, through the beads I've tried it on. So I attach my thread to my flower and then thread my bead and then I'm just going to attach the flower to the join. Just put a few stitches through just to make sure it's firmly attached.
Now that's quite firm, so I end off. And I'd normally attach all my flowers at the same time. I used to not sew around, but after a little bit of time they get a bit raggy. So to keep them from sticking up and get looking all, all tatty, I'm going to stitch it down. So I just sew around with the same colour thread as the flower just to attach it. That's the flower attached. So I'll go through and attach all my flowers and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like then. There's my cushion with all the flowers attached and stitched down. I've also stitched around the original markings for the size of the cushion so I can see it on the back when I stitch the backs to the front. I've cut out two pieces for the back. They're the same width as the cushion and a bit over three quarters of the length. I'll turn over the edge on one end of each and sew it down. I'll then attach the backs to the front with the right sides facing and the edges I've stitched in overlapping at the centre for the opening. Once I've stitched it together and neaten the edges, I'll trim away the excess fabric and turn the cushion to the right side and put in the cushion insert. There's the finished cushion. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. The details are in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.